Welcome back to If You Were a College Cross Country Athlete, Cold and Rainy Race Day and Long Travel Day Edition. So last night you pinned your bib onto your uniform even though you knew it would rip off as soon as you put it on for the actual race. So then you woke up at 7 a.m. and did a 10 minute shake out with the girls before having your electrolytes and peanut butter, banana, cinnamon, honey, and salt creation before running up to your room so you could put on your blue eye makeup that would end up all over your face and pack in the one hour that you had before you left at 9 a.m. for your 11 a.m. race. Then you throw your hair into your signature braid because you have PTSD from last year whenever you got a giant knot in your hair from running in the rain. Once you were finally ready, you had your rocket fuel and gummies on the way to the course, during which you somehow, in world record time, put on press-on nails for the race. Insert Deion Sanders' look good, feel good, play good quote. Naturally, you have to wait in an extremely long porter potty line because it wouldn't be cross-country if you didn't. Finally, you run your 6K in the pouring rain, and then you and your teammates head back into the van covered in mud, somehow with a split-open foot because you didn't wear socks during the race. You have your electric lights and food and then you rush to the airport to say goodbye to beautiful Madison, Wisconsin, I mean his favorite city in America, before having some snacks and you did not get upgraded to first class this time so you sit in the regular people area for your connection to Charlotte. You and your teammates grab some gourmet dinner from the airport and then board your second flight to finally make it back home to Durham. During your beautiful night flight you simply think about your upcoming exams but don't study for them. Hi Anna. Before grabbing your bags and loading up your Carolina livery van to go back to Duke University campus. After a long and full day, you make it home around 10 p.m. and go to sleep. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for next episode where you'll go to the Duke-Notre Dame football game and get presented on the field for your ACC Outdoor Track Championship last year.